The Internet of Things refers to the networked interconnection of everyday objects such as the store-bought coffee maker, toaster oven, and microwave that you see here. Surrounded by innovation at RC4, we're leveraging our cloud infrastructure and context-aware technology to make this unimaginative kitchen an innovative space. Imagine arriving to work with coffee immediately brewed exactly to your preferences, or the kettle has finished boiling water just as you hang up your coat. Well, RC4 is making it happen with our very own office kitchen. Hi, I'm Alex Dubov and this is uh, Mustafa Jawaid. We are recent Ryerson Electrical Engineering graduates. We work for RC4 on smart appliances and this is our first project, the Smart Coffee Maker, which can be controlled through your phone or through a website. And Mustafa is going to talk about the implementation. Before I talk about the implementation of the coffee maker, I'm going to be talking a little bit about why the smart coffee maker is important. Now, what the smart coffee maker allows you to do is make your life easier. By that, I mean, let's say this is placed in your workplace. As you're approaching your workplace, which, will define, which we will define as a zone, you can either, once you're in your workplace, you can remote control your coffee maker to make, make yourself coffee, or you can either, when you're in your workplace, it will automatically make you coffee. So now, that being said, let's talk a little bit about why this, like what we use to implement the coffee maker. The entire thing is based on an Arduino microcontroller, which is connected to a Wi-Fi shield. What the Wi-Fi shield allows you to do is actually transmit all the data to the server side, and from the server side to the client side, which will can which can be your cell phone, laptop, or any other client that's connected. The server is JavaScript based, so this is what actually allows you to get the HTML, the application on the client side and it will also collect the data from the microcontroller site. So all the sensors are hooked up to the microcontroller and the microcontroller is hooked up to the Wi-Fi shield and that's how the entire thing works. So this type of sensors we use, we use the Hall Effect sensor right here which detects the magnetic field. So this will actually detect if the lid is open or closed because there's a magnet placed on the lid. The other type of sensor we used was a IR sensor which is to detect if the pot is present or not. With this sensor, it will actually detect that if the pot is blocking the light. The other type of sensor we used was not really a sensor, we actually made it ourselves. It was to detect the water level. Now we made it ourselves because it was the easiest way to implement it and it was the most efficient way to implement it. To control the entire system, we actually use what's called a relay. The relay will actually allow you to control the entire copy maker with the digital signal. Now Alex will be showing, giving you a demo on how this coffee maker works. So this coffee maker can be controlled through a web interface and I have it loaded on my cell phone and on that laptop. Uh, so through that, this web interface you can see the status of the coffee maker, how many cups of water it has, whether the lid is opened or closed, whether the pot is present or not, and also you can see the location of the device. So. On, on this web interface, you, you, you will see the location of the cell phone and on that one, you will see the location of the laptop. Now, based on that, if, uh, it will give you the capability for turning on the coffee maker. And now I'm going to demonstrate how you would go about that. The, all, all, this, all the updates are real time, so that means that whenever I turn on the coffee maker on my cell phone, you will see the status update reflected on the on the laptop. So now it's on here and on on over there. Let's say that I open the lid. The status is is reflected both on the laptop and, and the cell phone. And and also the coffee maker stops brewing the coffee. We hope that gave you a brief overview of our entire project and what we're trying to achieve here. This is our first prototype and we hope to bring more projects with similar, similar technology in the future.